so hey guys in this video again we'll be solving one question based on transfer function okay so here is the question given now you need to understand here what all things we can apply now here these two blocks can be in series these two blocks can also be in series right so here you need to understand first step is basically to find out whether any blocks are in series or parallel but in this question they can be in series they can be in series but the thing is that in between them here there is one summing point and in between g3 and g4 there is one takeoff point so that means i have to remove not remove i have to shift that takeoff point and summing point then only these two blocks will be in what series right so this summing point where should i shift so basically as i said before also previous videos always try to shift takeoff point towards the right side that means towards the output and summing point towards the left side that means towards the input side so summing point is sitting over here i'll shift it to the left side and takeoff point i'll shift it to the output side so what will happen you need to understand carefully so i'll draw that first so see here r of s is sitting then i have one summing point so who is sitting here g1 is sitting next who will come g2 will come then after that who will come one summing point is there then g3 will come then in between one takeoff point is there so i'll shift that so g4 will come directly then output side c of s will come okay so from output side one feedback loop is there which is going towards where this sum summing point right this summing point where it is having minus sign here plus sign so minus sign is there okay and here also one feedback from this summing point minus and towards which one towards the output of g2 so towards the output of g2 so towards the output of g2 i'll take one thing so here who is sitting h1 is sitting okay so i hope you understood now most important point here is that carefully you have to understand so who are sitting here here so summing point was sitting over here with what here we had what here we had so in the summing point who is sitting h3 is sitting right h3 is sitting that h3 line i am shifting where i am shifting over here so summing point will come over here and h3 will be sitting over here itself but what the rule says then here takeoff point was sitting which is connected to h3 itself in the diagram you can see both are connected to h3 itself now this takeoff point i have to shift after the g4 block so it will come around here you can say now the thing is that what is the rule it says i have shifted this takeoff point from here to here the rule says that when you shift to takeoff point after the block after the block you have to take reciprocal of that block and add it to that line so which line you have shifted you have shifted this line so you have to add that block in this line itself you have to take reciprocal so i will take reciprocal of that block so reciprocal will be what reciprocal will be 1 by g3 uh, sorry g4 right g4 is sitting here i have jumped over this block so i have to take reciprocal of that then you have to connect it with h3 that was the line you shifted now this part is done now coming towards this part which you have jumped over which block see summing point was shift uh, here sitting here you have shifted the summing point to this spot right so you have jumped over g1 you have to take reciprocal because you are shifting summing point before the block always remember summing point before the block take off point after the block is the same rule so you have to take the reciprocal of the function that means g1 is sitting here reciprocal you have to take that is nothing but 1 by g1 you have to add it where you have to add it in what which line you, have to, you should add you should add it in h3 line so this line i will remove and i will add what 1 by then i will connect to h3 so this part is done i hope you understood this part okay we have just shifted everything if you want if you are getting confused if you want you can mark this i have shifted this okay now these three blocks which is the feedback path are in series so can i add it both those three blocks yes i can add 
and one more thing i'll remove the summing point to avoid confusion okay one more thing these two are in series yes here also i'll remove takeoff point because i have already shifted that takeoff point okay fine so that means these two also are in series series means i have to multiply so i will do that multiplication thing so r of s will become what one summing point is there then uh, what will come over here so here summing point again came now g1 and g2 i'll multiply because they those both are in series so it will become g1 g2 then another summing point came then g3 g4 both are in uh, series so i'll again multiply it will become g3 g4 then what will come then c of s will come which is the output okay now we are having here the feedback so feedback as i said both those three feedback blocks are in series so i have to multiply those three so it will become what it will become h3 h3 by g1 into g4 yes simple concept i have applied just multiplying because those three are in series i have multiplied so where this will go and sit output side yes simple so for this uh, summing block who is sitting one feedback is sitting which is nothing but h2 is connected to the output side itself right here minus sign don't forget about minus sign and all okay and uh, here also if you see here fro from this uh, summing point one h1 is sitting feedback which is connected to here output of g1 g2 block yes so this part is done now what else you can do so here you need to understand one concept so here this part is just uh, here this part this point is over here and this was over here i know this summing point is sitting over here this summing point this is having minus and plus sign and uh, this is having plus and minus so what i can do as per associative law summing point you can exchange you can exchange summing point if they are lying on the same line and in between there are no other coming points or no other blocks so you can exchange this and this simple here also take a point you can exchange this take a point and this point yes. why i have to do that because here g1 g2 and h1 they can be formed as what a minor feedback loop minor loop i can form but the problem is that in between one summing point is sitting okay this, that summing point i'll just exchange off exchange basically means you have to shift this summing point over here okay see carefully very important concept here so r of us is sitting here so here one a summing point so i have shifted this summing point here so this summing point will come over here so it is having uh, minus and plus then along with this summing point what i am having here i am having this line so this line will be coming along with that itself summing point itself right so this i will draw which is h3 by g1 g4 it will be like this correct it is connected over here okay that will be drawing later now this summing point i'll shift it to here so along with so this line also will come off so it will be this summing point has come over here plus minus right along with this this feedback also will come which is h1 right and who is sitting over here g1 and g2 is connected to this part and from here again one summing point from here g3 and g4 is there okay and takeoff point i'll just shift off the so shift off is taking a uh, shift off means so this you exchange over here this you send over there it will be first uh, it will come here then it will be h2 then it will go so next uh, takeoff point will come over here i hope you understood what i have done here that means this part this part this is nothing but see you have to understand this line is coming first so i have kept it as second over here then this line this take up point was coming second i have kept it as first because uh, this has to be formed as what one minor loop right here also if you observe i have exchanged because this has to be formed as what so here one important concept you have to note exchanging of what the summing points this you mentioned exchanging of summing points 
as well as and take off points why we are doing that because in order to form the minor loops we are doing so along with summing point be careful with the signs also along with summing fold that entire line will come off always remember so try to analyze these two steps carefully then we'll go for next which is basically to reduce this minor loops okay very simple how to reduce this minor loops so r of s will come then one summing point then here we'll reduce this which formula will apply g of s by 1 plus or minus g of s is into r of s not r of s h of s so here minus plus is there it will be g of s which is nothing but g1 g2 by 1 plus or minus is there plus or minus means here minus sign is there so i have to put plus sign plus into g of s which is g1 g2 into h of s which is h1 simple this i have converted into one single block okay done with that now next uh, we have got another minor loop okay another minor loop so that minor loop we are having again g of s which is g3 g4 divided by 1 here which sign was there here minus sign is there so here also minus sign is there. so minus sign means i have to pl put plus sign plus g3 g4 into h2 okay so this also i got it as one loop and what is left out here one take off point will come which is nothing but c of s okay c of s then this i'll join off okay now upper upper portion if you see one feedback is sitting feedback is sitting so i have to draw that also feedback so i'll just to take this part this entire thing okay i think i'll drag it over here now we can draw that upper portion also so it is starting from this feedback uh, this summing point will go here then i have to draw here g3 uh, sorry h3 by g1 g4 this is one block which is connected to this part i hope you got it i hope you got it now this part is done now what is left out now we know that so i hope you understood where is summing point and all don't get confused i hope you know how to analyze this thing this entire thing is one minor loop this entire thing right so that entire thing becomes to so this block then this entire thing is another minor loop that's be that becomes this loop which formula we have applied always remember we have to apply g of s by 1 plus or minus g of s into h always remember this formula now these two blocks if you observe they are both are in what series so i have to apply again the same concept that means this two are series means i have to multiply those two so what will happen to that just me let me just write it over here so again r of s is there then summing point who is sitting one minor loop is sitting sorry who is sitting over there feedback g1 g4 is sitting so i'll keep it as it is then it's going to the outside output side then this will be converted into one single block which is multiply both g1 g2 into g3 g4 divided by multiply 1 plus g1 g2 h1 into 1 plus g3 g2 h sorry g3 g4 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 into h2 okay this becomes the series block right this we have got then we are having what output side which is nothing but your face this part is done now we have to see that here who is sitting one feedback is sitting here who is sitting one forward path block is sitting so both are in both are nothing but a loop loop means again you have to apply which formula g of s by one or one plus or minus g of s into r of s okay, fine so let us draw that last step of the problem r of s you are getting so directly now only the last step is there so you can directly write c of s by r of s which is nothing but the transfer function is equal to these two loops i have to take so g of s by which formula i am applying g of s by one plus or minus g of s into h of s now what is plus or minus here you have to see the sign sign which sign we had we had minus sign so you can look it over here also we had which sign we had minus sign okay always remember we had minus sign over here. g of s is nothing but this block 
so it will be g1 g2 g3 g4 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 h1 into 1 plus g3 g4 h2 this is g of s divided by 1 plus or minus which sign i should do is opposite sign that should be plus g of s again the same thing g1 g2 g3 g4 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 h1 into 1 plus g3 g4 h2 into what i should do i should multiply h of s what is h of s this block is nothing but h3 by g1 4 okay g1 this entire thing i got okay i hope you understood what we are doing now the final thing what we can do we can simplify these blocks if you want you can simplify these blocks by taking lcm lcm we should take and uh, simplify these blocks 